Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about arrays in Scala. So first of all, what is an array? So array is a data structure which can store fixed size sequential elements of same data type. So the keyword fixed size and the same data type is important to note here. So arrays can uh, store the data types or collections of same data types, right? So let's see how we can use or declare an array. So you can uh, just write var or val and then your variable name, my array for example, and then uh, the type of the variable. So the type of variable is uh, array in our case and then the type of array which type of array we want to uh, create so you can create uh, any data type array for example int or double or string or any kind of data type and then you uh, just define the size of array using a new array keyword right so you just write new array and then in the bracket once again uh, the type of array and then you can just uh, give the size of the array using this uh, parenthesis and then inside the parenthesis you define the size of the array right now the second way of uh, declaring an array is you can just write array my array 2 for example and then you can directly uh, assign the size of an array using new array and then the data type you give here for example int and this time let's say we just uh, define the array of size 5. Now you can assign the value to an array element using their indexes so you just need to give the name of your array my array for example and then index uh, starts from 0 so uh, Scala arrays are 0 indexed that means they start from zero and then you can assign any uh, value to this element. So the element at zeroth position, we have assigned 20 value to it, right? In the same way, you can assign, uh, for example, uh, and then you can assign these values to your array, right? And then uh, to uh, just to print the values of the array, you can uh, just use print line and let's save it and let's run the code and you can see it's not really convenient to uh, use the array inside print line so what we are going to do is we are going to use a for loop to print uh, the elements inside the array so you can just write uh, for and then uh, first of all the value and then whatever array you want to iterate on so you just uh, use these arrow symbol and then uh, for example my array your array name and then inside these curly brackets you can use the print line and you can write uh, x uh, here right this means that uh, you are iterating over the array which starts from uh, zero to the index 3 right so let's uh, run the code and you can see it iterates over the array and then it prints the value uh, of uh, every element inside the array there is one more way of uh, iterating over an array and uh, this is using the conventional type of uh, for loop so you uh, define i here and then you start the i from uh, 0 and then the length of the array so you can get the length of the array using a length method so just uh, use your variable dot length okay and this will give the length of an array and because arrays are zeros indexed that means uh, the value of array starts from zero index so we need to minus uh, one from the length so that it goes up to three index right and then inside the brackets you can uh, once again use the print line 
uh, function to print your value so this time you just need to use your your array and then i will give you the index of your array starting from zero until three which is uh, my array length which is four minus one so up to three okay and then once uh, you run your program it will give the same result as the above for loop let me just move this console to the right hand side so we can see the code in a better way so now uh, if you haven't assigned any uh, value to an array so in our second array example my array 2 we have assigned the size to an array and the type to an array but we haven't assigned any value to the array 2 so how it looks like so i'm going to use array 2 instead of uh, my array and uh, let's see what it prints so you can see it prints the 0, 0, 0, 0. So it prints the default value of that data type, right? So for example, if it's a string and we run the program, it's going to print null, the default value of uh, that data type. If we uh, write uh, double here and then run the code, it's going to print 0.0, .0 which is the default value of double. If we define a Boolean uh, data type here and then run the code, it's going to just uh, print the false, which is the default value of the Boolean. So if you haven't assigned any value to your array element, it's going to take the default value of that data type. Now there is one more way of uh, defining an array. So you can uh, write val or var and then uh, my array is equal to array and then you can uh, directly initialize the array by the values. For example, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 or any uh, number, right? Or if it's a string, then uh, you just need to give the string values here. And let's define this array as uh, array three. And let's print the size of the array or length of the array. So uh, my array three dot uh, length. And uh, let's uh, run the code. And you can see the length of the array is seven. So you can define uh, the arrays like this also. Now, if you want to concatenate an array, what you can do is you can uh, use the concat method on the array. So you can just write uh, concat and then the first array and the second array. So for example, we want to con concatenate my array and my array three. Okay. So like this, you uh, just need to use concat method and then you just need to uh, use your uh, arrays which have the same data type. Now you can see it gives a concat not found uh, error. So for that, you just need to import the array uh, library. So just write uh, import array dot underscore, okay? And this is going to uh, solve this uh, concat problem, right? And uh, let's say uh, val result is equal to uh, whatever the concatenation of array and array three is, okay? And let's print the array result using the for loop and let's run the code. And you can see uh, it concatenates uh, array one and the array three. And there are uh, different methods are associated with arrays. So you can just uh, write the name of your array variable and then just use dot uh, to see whichever method uh, are available for your array. So you can see when you uh, just write dot here, you can see using IntelliSense what are the methods which are available for arrays. So you can see these um, are all the method which are available for the array. So there is a size of array, for example, or there is a method called last, which will give you the last value of array or the maximum value, which is max method. You can see uh, min method, max method, and there are so many methods related to array. 
so you can uh, just uh, see the definition or how they can be used here and then uh, use those methods on your arrays easily right so this is how you can use arrays in scala i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now